Hey everybody, it's Grant, and today we are going to be taking a look on Graham Stephan's video on the tragic downfall of the Dogecoin Millionaire. I've met the Dogecoin Millionaire. I've been in a video with him, uh, especially for his Netflix special. I don't know if I ever saw it. I would love to see it if it's ever out, if I ever made it to the cut. If it didn't, it's okay. But uh, today we're going to learn so much about buying an investment, hitting a home run, and holding it too long. So here we are in my computer and wow, Graham is getting close to 4 million subscribers. So very proud of him. Also, we're going to power up that like button from my buddy Graham. Uh, also, if you're just seeing me for the first time, please consider subscribing to the channel. I would love to have you here. So we are going to get into this video and with Dogecoin being where it's at, I'm going to run this video pretty quick. Oof, I am, I am so intrigued to see where he's at right now. At one point, he was over $3 million. The Saturday Night Live of Elon Musk comes out and Dogecoin started its downfall to where we are at now. And you're seeing me in my videos where I'm buying it at like seven, eight cents. I don't know if it got to seven, but I know I bought it at eight. So Graham, talk to us, bud. What's up, Graham? It's Guys here. So almost a year ago, I met up with a man who maxed out his credit cards, invested his life savings, and threw it all in a moonshot opportunity that he believed would make him obscenely rich Dogecoin. Just 69 mm. days after his initial investment, he was able to turn his $180,000 into a million dollars, giving him mainstream attention as the rags to rich. I mean, CNBC promoted him. He's got a YouTube channel now. At least some very positive things came out. Uh, of this, his his videos get 10, 15,000 views pretty quickly. So his channel is substantially more successful than mine. Uh, so hey, props to him. Um, it just, it, it's still. A few days after that, Andre Jick met up with the Dogecoin millionaire in person where they went through a heated debate about whether or not he should sell everything at 25 cents or diamond hands until the price of Dogecoin reaches a dollar. Long story short, he didn't sell and initially this worked to his favor because the longer he held on, the more his account grew, the more praise he got, and not too much longer after that, his account grew to a peak of nearly $3 million, at which point he quit his job in favor of this new opportunity. Now again, you would think that turning $180,000 into three million dollars in three months would prompt you to sell everything yes <laughs> buy a house in cash and live off the returns for the rest of your life but nope he wanted to wait for it to hit a dollar and that's when i got a knock at the front door sure enough it was them and after begging him to sell and lock in the profits he kept holding and holding and holding to the point where now his dogecoin portfolio has lost about 90 percent from the peak and is currently worth just over three hundred thousand dollars yeah <laughs> Well, I don't think we need the rest of this video, but uh, we're going to continue through. Today, one year later, I've reconnected with the Dogecoin millionaire to see his account, hear his thoughts, and get an update on one of the craziest stories I have ever covered here in the channel. Meaning, had you just invested $1,000, today you would be up 4,000%, and your $1,000 investment would be worth $40,000. So what happened to cause this insane rally, and is Dogecoin a good value at today's prices? Well, we should look to what started all of this in the first place, and that's what brings us to a few main catalysts. First, trading on Robinhood. 2018, price 0 0.002 cents each. In 2018, when Robin had announced their cryptocurrency platform, Dogecoin was added onto the list as an additional option that people could buy and sell. That gave it significantly more exposure and allowed their users to buy in as they would any other stock, which of course boosted up the price. Second, TikTok. 2020, price 0 0.0043 wow. cents each. Shortly after the pandemic, a viral video began appearing on TikTok known as the Dogecoin Challenge. It made the argument that the value of Dogecoin is practically worthless, and if all 800 million users of TikTok each invested $25, they could drive up the price to a dollar and turn that into a nearly $10,000 profit. Well, sure enough, thanks to the virality of that video, the price went up 43% in 48 hours. And even though it didn't hit a dollar, it was still very impressive. Third, Elon Musk, December 2020. I remember hearing about all this, and I definitely know when Elon Musk started tweeting about it. 
a price 0.003 cents each. This is where Elon Musk tweets his support for Dogecoin with just one word, Doge. Sure enough, this increased the price 30% in 24 hours, and that is where things started getting out of control. Fourth, Reddit. January 2021, price one cent each. Just like Wall Street bets turn their attention to GameStop and AMC, causing the price to skyrocket, they also turn their attention to Dogecoin, which further soared another 600% to a value of nearly four and a half cents each. Fifth, Elon Musk again. February 2021, price seven and a half cents each. Just as the Reddit craze for Dogecoin began to stabilize, Elon Musk tweeted his support again, calling it the people's crypto, causing the price to go up almost 50% instantaneously. Sixth, Doge Day, April 20th, 2021, price 36 cents each. Leading up to this was a huge push of excitement supported by Elon Musk. I won't lie, it was really fun to watch AMC, GameStop, and Dogecoin do what they did. <laughs> It was just fun to watch, you know? Continually tweeting about putting Dogecoin on the moon, billionaire Mark Cuban speaking in favor of it, and a multitude of other businesses voicing their support to eventually accept it as payment. That caused the price to go parabolic, and the more media attention it got, the higher it went, which gave it more media attention, and the cycle continued. Seventh, the perfect storm, May 2021, price 72 cents each. I call this the perfect storm because multiple catalysts all converged at the exact same time, causing it to almost hit a dollar. Several brokerages all incorporated Dogecoin under their platform, and with Elon Musk's SNL skit, many people believed that the mere mention of it would cause the price to exceed a dollar. However, we had eighth, the crash, June 2021, price 30 cents each. Shortly after the Dogecoin SNL episode, Robin and Trading temporarily crashed from all the activity. Wow, I wonder when they did that with GameStop and AMC and Dogecoin. At the same time, the entire cryptocurrency market began to fall from environmental concerns along with security risks when the U.S. seized a $2.3 million Bitcoin ransom. Ninth, the crypto bear market. June 2022, price 8 cents each. As the Federal Reserve began pulling back on their stimulus and raising interest rates, investors took a risk-off approach as they sold their speculative investments, causing the price to fall. At the same time, investor enthusiasm for meme coins began to dissipate, sending Dogecoin, as well as nearly every other cryptocurrency, into a slow decline line where the bottom is anyone's guess. So where do we stand as of today? Well, in the past, Mark Cuban stated that meme coins like Doge only work if they gain utility and users use them for that utility. Or in other words, because there's an infinite number of Dogecoin that can enter circulation at a rate of 5 billion a year, the only way for it to consistently stabilize or increase in price is for more people to buy in and use it. Of course, in terms of its growing popularity, WordPress recently announced that they would allow Dogecoin to be used as a form of payment. Gucci is rolling out Dogecoin options in store, and Elon Musk stated that SpaceX would soon be accepting Dogecoin for merchandise. However, the co-creator of Dogecoin recently had some choice words to say in regards to SpaceX, saying, Elon Musk was and always will be a grifter, but the world loves grifters. They love the idea that they may also be a billionaire one day, and that's the dream he's selling. So in terms of where we are right now, as well as the performance of my own cryptocurrency portfolio, let's get a one-year update for the Dogecoin millionaire himself and see exactly how much his position is worth. Okay, so now do you regret holding so long Ooh. yes yeah, yeah. you know I'm human uh, yeah I should have sold some <laughs> <laughs> all of it what if it doesn't recover though if it doesn't recover see I look at Dogecoin as I tell you this if it doesn't recover he has a YouTube channel he's been on CNBC he's got a face that everybody knows but the bad part is he could be like those celebrity athletes that had made all this money and ruined it so, you know, being famous and broke does not sound fun for me. Um, and so I'll be uh, rich and no one knows, knows, knows me. There you go. That'd be great. That's fine. That's okay, too. Um, here's the thing. Dogecoin can still recover. I invest in Dogecoin. Not a lot, but a little. And so I'm going to keep buying in the dip and keep cost averaging down. It's not because I believe in it more. It's because I believe in my cost averaging strategy. And eventually, uh, in five years, 10 years, whatever, because I'm only putting enough money in there where it's going to matter later, you know, between all my crypto stuff, I think I have like 150000 or so total. That money still 100% matters. But for me, it's something I can invest and wait for 10, 15 years and hope uh, that it did what Bitcoin did, you know, go up. It's like a savings account. And I know that's very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? That's very uh, irresponsible. irresponsible. <laughs> um, Risky. But my, but my plan is this, especially for this year, it's, um, I'm going to continue investing. I'm going to continue, 
um, buying crypto, but I'm going to lean harder on Ethereum, on Bitcoin, you know, uh, probably some Cardano. Are you doing any other investing in the stock market? Have you thought about maybe a good index fund? Honestly, I enjoy the word Ethereum. Let's say he sold all of his Dogecoin, paid some taxes, put all that money in Ethereum. Whenever it goes down, goes back up. Yay. Purchase in the stock market was Tesla. So if, if I was to go back into the stock market, I'd probably buy Tesla, I'd probably buy Facebook, I'd probably buy some Apple. Like these are just long-term mm. holds for me, but, regardless. You but know. no plans for like a good index fund? <laughs> no. <Probably> not. <laughs> Why didn't you sell? I would have felt like an imposter. You know what I mean? I'm over here preaching. I get it, I get it, I get it. But dude, the problem is they don't, they're not gonna bail you out after you lose your money. Yeah, but I get where he's coming from, you know. Uh, one of the reasons I keep this channel alive is because right now my views are down. Like, it's it's rough. It doesn't feel good to, to go see a video that has, like, 400 views or 1,000 views or, you know, we haven't hit the algorithm in a while, but I'm still here time and time again. I'm still trying to come up with new content, trying to, like, clear my plate so that way I can come up with better content for you guys. Hired an assistant so that way I could take some, some mental stuff off of me and give him a great job, and then basically be able to just kind of create a little bit. Hadn't happened yet. We're still working out a lot of stuff, opening a whole new company, building new projects, building subdivisions. There's so much going on, but I want to make sure I'm still here for you guys. And three videos a week, it's tough. Uh, but if I ever stop doing that, I feel like I'd really start to slack down, slack off. And, and telling people Dogecoin is the way and, and cryptocurrency is the future, and, and and I just sell out as soon as I, I'm able now, to. Do you think with your following that you're encouraging a risky behavior yes. of speculative cryptocurrencies or, or maybe things that... Yes. My little nephew messages me all the time. I tell him, you can put maybe 5% in bets but do all the rest, you know, do all the rest the very right way, diversify your portfolio, diversify, diversify, diversify. So that way, when your, when your crypto goes down, your oil goes up. Whenever you buy Amazon and at 20 splits and it starts to going down, you know, your, um, shoot, what is up right now? Anyway, your oil goes up. And so I just, mm. I'm in a better place today than I was a year ago. I've I've made other investments, you know what I mean? I moved to Vegas, yeah. I got a house. I wasn't making a noise at him, I just, it just came out, so. It's 11 o'clock at night, so. I'm buying a Tesla. What do you mean you're buying a Tesla? <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna buy a Tesla. Why? Because I want a new car. What, a Tesla? Yeah, why not? What happened, you, you, you were driving a perfectly great car. I liked your car. <sighs> Yeah, it's on T-shirts. Why does it gotta be a Tesla? There's, there's no AC, man. There's a it's, lot of cars that have air conditioning. Um, you know what my actual dream car is, though? Yeah. DeLorean. Yeah. You can tell people, like, trying to go back in time. It's like... <laughs> I don't know if you heard that. That was Alex. And he says, you can... Look at his face. Look at his face. Zoom in on his face. So now Graham's getting into his thoughts back to the actual Graham Stephan um, video versus his clips from him with uh, the Ice Coffee Hour, which was a very good, it was a very, very good episode because, I mean, shoot, I was watching and there's only one point to it. You should have sold. But at the same time, I like both of them. So I, I, I want to show my support. It's good when you use it for transactions. It said that Dogecoin averages around one minute to add a new block of transactions to the Dogecoin blockchain, making the Dogecoin network more than nine times faster at processing transactions than Bitcoin. On top of that, the transaction fees are significantly lower than Ethereum, making it a better way to pay for small transactions. Second, anecdotally, there's quite a few people who believe it'll follow the same trajectory as Bitcoin, which routinely crashes 70 to 90%, consolidates, and then hits a new all-time high. So why not with Dogecoin which has also risen, fallen, and recovered in the past. Not to mention, even today, after dropping from the peak, it's still significantly higher than it was just over a year ago. Third, I've also rarely ever seen a community as strong as Dogecoin. It seems to be held by the people who really believe in the principle, they stand behind the message, and they want to see it succeed. And I believe it's those people who make Dogecoin what it is today. However, all of that doesn't necessarily mean it's a good investment. And in terms of the downsides, here are my thoughts. First, if it's ever going to be taken seriously as a currency, that 
can't happen until the price stabilizes. The fact is, very few retailers would want to accept it as payment beyond a marketing ploy when its price fluctuates plus or minus 20% in a week. So in my opinion, the real value of Dogecoin is going to come when people move on to something else, they forget about it, and then it'll have a chance to find its true value. Second, just because it's always recovered and gone up in the past doesn't mean it always will. The reality is, for every example of Bitcoin, there are dozens or hundreds that rise, fall, rise, fall, and then just never go anywhere. It's always possible that history doesn't repeat itself, and it's up to you to understand the risks of investing in something as volatile as this. And third, in terms of value, there's not a cap on supply, meaning the number of Dogecoin in circulation could be limitless. This makes it significantly more difficult to go up in price without a lot more people buying in all at the exact same time. It's kind of like trying to run up an escalator that's going down. It's possible under the right circumstances, but it's not sustainable to keep that up long term. That's why I believe that Dogecoin is going to have a very difficult time ever reaching a dollar without a significant push of enthusiasm at a level. I agree as well, but it did get that push, therefore it still can, and eventually some famous YouTuber or famous actor or somebody will endorse it and people will go crazy because that's the that's that's what crypto is to me. It's the people's currency, it's a meme currency. It's a currency based off of hype because it's not like the dollar. It's not gold or silver. It's basically just driven like a stock with not a whole lot of sustenance. There's no company behind it. So it's it's interesting to watch. Same thing for NFTs. I I'd like to get into them, but I'm scared of them. Call me an old soul because I'm having a hard time keeping up with all this new stuff, but uh, whew that we have not seen. Although long term, who knows? Anything can happen, and I've been surprised in the past, but... Agreed. For me, it's not something that I could really wrap my mind around, besides being a fun alternative store of value and potential investment under the right conditions. However, just be prepared to lose everything. As far as my own Dogecoin investment, I promised that it might... He bought $10,000 or so of Dogecoin if a video did whatever a video did. So uh, I'm assuming 100,000 likes. So let's let's see. Video got 100,000 likes back in May of 2021. I would buy $10,000 worth of Dogecoin and hold on to it for a year. Though I didn't think we would actually get 100,000 likes, but we did. And as remember, I said 1,000 likes or 100,000 views. We haven't hit the algorithm in forever. This is a Dogecoin video. There's a shot. There's a shot promised I bought it. Today, that $10,000 investment is worth $1,800. No. Had a loss of 82%. At this point, I have no intention of selling, and the point of the video was just to have a fun experience that I could report back on for everyone who hit the like button. But yeah. All right, so on that, that's, over. that's it for the video, guys. If you enjoy that update, what a great video by Graham. He gives us an entire trajectory of how Dogecoin went up and Dogecoin went down. He caught us up with the Dogecoin Millionaire, and his own personal $10,000 investments worth 1800 bucks. So once again, this is a video that's entertaining, but at the same time, there's a message behind it. With me holding AMC and not selling when I was up $200,000, even $200,000 to me, folks, I would have had to pay major taxes on that, but that was amazing money. That's money that could still be used in another purchase right now, playing more with Dogecoin, playing more with crypto, doing whatever, and I didn't take it. The Shiba investment. Didn't take it, but I have taken profits and I made a ton of money in the stock market. I've made a ton of money in real estate and all my smart bets, but I got a little greedy, right? Don't get greedy. Make those smart investments right down before the investment ever happens where you'd be happy. Keep that right there. And in the event that it does what it says, hit that sell button, right? If you can hold it for a year, by all means do so. That's what I like to do on all of my investments. Uh, even now, AMC, because I've been holding it for quite a long time, right? Diamond hands, yeah. Hoo, hoo, hee, hoo, ha. <laughs> the ha part was because it didn't sell. But yeah, it's crazy how this stuff happens. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed my points as well as Graham's. And uh, remember, I believe in you. So uh, no more outros. Please hit that subscribe button and uh, bye.